Do you remember the blackout in 2003? Mid-August, over 50 million people on the East Coast were left without electricity. No lights, no air conditioners, no refrigerators, and no freezers. For the average person, it was just a big inconvenience. But for dairy companies like Kleins and Mahadran, it was a major crisis. Tens of thousands of dollars were melting, and whether you prefer chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry, this was a real problem. It was going to be another two full days before the region of Mahadran headquarters would have their freezers working again. But for their competition, Klein's ice cream, electricity began working again after just five hours. Knowing the predicament their biggest competitor was in, the Klein brothers decided to help. If Hashem helps me, I gotta help somebody else. And uh, so immediately we made a phone call to, to the owners of Mahadran. We bought over two trucks that was not, didn't have electricity, brought it over to us. We pushed, we, we pushed our warehouse to make place for the two trucks to come in immediately plugged in, that was Friday morning, and uh, they got back electricity only uh, after Shabbos. So that was uh, something that we really feel that we did something and we saved uh, a lot of merchandise and money. You're probably thinking, what does this story have to do with leadership? Well, that's because most of us believe that leadership is about sitting up front on the dais, inspiring people from a platform while thousands come together and listen. But the truth is, all of us are leaders on the stage of life. We're being watched every single day by our family, friends, and community. It's the right thing to do. We felt we were blessed, and uh, it's just something that I would expect somebody to do for us, so we did it for them. Whether we realize it or not, the way we speak and act can inspire the people in our lives to become bigger and better. When Mr. Klein picked up the phone to offer his help to a company that's in his same line of business, a company that's targeting the same clientele, he didn't just do an act of kindness. He set an example for all of us to follow, demonstrating that a person's true competition is himself. It's important to act the way you want people to act to you. It wasn't even a blink of an eye thing, thought that we are gonna build or save the competition. It was just the spirit of the moment, and we, th we felt this is the right thing to do. This is something everybody can and should do. We are all leaders. A spotlight is shining on all of us, and the people around us are our audience. When we act in a way that others are inspired to follow, we put on the performance of a lifetime. That's leadership. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Leadership. It's not a position or a title, but an attitude to life. Join any of the dozens of interactive, informative, and inspiring sessions while spending time in the presence of Gedele Yisrael. All this at the Aguda Convention, November 12th through 15th. Igniting the leader within. Listen. Learn. Lead. Lead.